another quick garage tip squatting and when I'm working with our folks in the yard and anywhere really when I talk about squatting things that are important with squatting is breathing and bracing the trunk correctly open uh, sitting at the sitting back of the hips first open up the hips and keeping the knees over the ankles as you sit down and it doesn't have to be more complicated than that a lot of the times where people run into trouble is they don't breathe and brace real well so you'll see a lot of movement at the pelvis and the low back or they're going too deep for what their body will allow them to because they don't have the control over it so you start to see some shifts in the pelvis and the low back so what's really important is just that they're moving correctly and you, they don't need to go below parallel in the beginning you can stop them with box or whatever um, but what I just want to talk about first is some ways I it's just some easy quick things that you can see so number one breathing bracing I like to give people a belt to get them started so they can feel how to correctly breathe in and out and brace that trunk I got my belt on here real quick you should be able to get your thumbs behind it shouldn't have it wrapped up so tight that it feels like it's strangling you and taking deep breaths in breathing all the way out filling that space belly button all the way to low back help letting myself expand out of the belt shrink back down so next piece so once they master that and they can be in that belt and brace down tight now we're going to start getting the bar out of the rack. So, getting the bar out of the rack should look like the first rep. Get your hands placed. Get that bar center in the chest and duck yourself under. We're not going to worry about bar position so much. Just somewhere where it's comfortable for the person. Get their feet under them like they're going to perform a quarter squat. Screw those feet into the ground. Grab it with their feet. Screw the hips. So the knees are where they would be when they're going to squat anyway. So that way... We've got this all set up, so it should look like a little quarter squat. Breathing in, bracing that belt, popping up, take one step back to each foot. Those feet should be you know, right where they were when you unwrapped it, so you shouldn't have to mess with your feet too much, because that unwrapping should look like the position you're going to be in to squat. So, butt's tight, pelvis is under you. Breathing into that belt, bracing that trunk, and now we just have to make sure that their hips move first, knees stay over the ankles so all we need to do is have them break at the hip then the knee kind of breaks at the same time I sit back as far as I can without them losing position in the spine pop back up I have people in the gym right now that all the deeper they go is here and that's fine what they do is they look like they're squatting they're sitting back and they're opening up the knees we can get them deeper down the road. What I don't want is for them to go deeper to sacrifice good positions. So remember, breathing, bracing the trunk, breaking at the hips, open the hips, knees stay over the ankles, sit down, pop up, only go as deep as you can, keep control. Garage tips, later.